Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning and evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Uh, and today, actually, being Sunday, we tend on Sunday to deviate from the lessons for the office, uh, and we often look at what is what is known as the collect, the collected prayer of the church that is assigned for that particular Sunday, uh, and I thought we would do that again today. Uh, today is actually the 10th day of Christmas. Uh, so we've already gone through what is known as the octave that led up to the Feast of the Holy Name or the Feast of the Circumcision. Uh, that was on January 1st. Uh, and now here we are on day number 10. Uh, so we're getting very near the end of the Christmas season. Uh, and yet it is still Christmas festive uh, for our worship. Uh, we, the, the, you know, the poinsettias have survived so far. Uh, the vestment color is still white. And actually uh, where I am right now recording this message uh, is actually in the vesting sacristy uh, where the priest puts on his vestments and where the acolytes can put on their vestments as well. Uh, and so I thought I'd talk a little bit about the collect for the second Sunday after Christmas. Uh, and remember what the collect is, it's the collected prayer of the church. And it looks like the word collect. Uh, so the church has over her centuries collected up the prayers of the faithful and codified these series of prayers. Some of them that we use regularly in the daily office and sometimes every day uh, for particular petitions and needs. Uh, others of them are used like the ones on Sunday that are assigned that have to do with the particular theme of that worship and the readings of that particular Sunday. Uh, so we're in the second Sunday after Christmas Day and the collect is this. Almighty God has poured upon us the new light of thine incarnate word grant that the same light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, interestingly, we actually did not do the collect for the first Sunday after Christmas Day, um, and it is actually very closely related to the actual uh, collect for Christmas Day. Um, in that particular collect, the reason why we didn't do it was because St. John's Day fell on a Sunday, and that takes precedence as the uh, feast that is to be celebrated. Uh, and thank God for that, because we are St. John's Church. Uh, but the first Sunday after uh, Christmas Day, we asked that God uh, would grant that being regenerate and made thy children by adoption and grace, we may daily be renewed in thy Holy Spirit. All right, and so we're reminded that the birth of Jesus is related to the reality of our adoption as sons of God. Uh, but today, uh, this particular collect and, and that is appointed for today, and, and actually we're going to hear about the story of Joseph's flight and Joseph and Mary and Jesus' flight into Egypt as the gospel lesson. Um, but we're reminded in the collect about the idea of Jesus as the light of the world. Uh, you know, at this time of the year when it's relatively dark uh, and the days are just starting to get longer, uh, there's nothing that people in the Northern Hemisphere look forward to more than actually having more sunlight, right? Uh, hopefully, actually, we're looking forward to eternal life more. Uh, but the reality is, is it's gray and dark. Uh, the sun is down by the time you get back from work, uh, and, and it seems to be just coming up when you're going to work, if you work outside of the house. So, uh, you know, we, we're looking forward to longer days and more vitamin D, thanks be to God, uh, and that is starting to come. And so that is reflected in the church calendar that Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world, uh, is born and during this darkest time of the year, and we begin to work on, through the time of our salvation, the story of our salvation, uh, as we watch the increasing light happening. Uh, so grant that the same light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives. So in other words, what we are asking God to do in this particular colic, we identify him as Almighty God. Uh, and then the attribute we're talking about is that he has brought his son, the light of the world, into the world. And because of that, we need to learn how to reflect that same light and that same glory. The more we are becoming like Jesus by eschewing sin and staying away from sinful behavior and trying to justify our own sinfulness, you know, we can't just say, well, the Bible says this, but we know better now. That's not how it works. Uh, sin is still sin. But what we need to do is we need to ask God to help us to not only repent of those sins, but to avoid those sins altogether uh, so that the light of Christ can begin to shine through us. 
that we actually begin to show forth to the world the good news of God in Jesus Christ, that we literally shine with his light. Uh, in the way that Moses shone, right? It was so bright that because he was in the presence of God, he had to veil his face. Uh, at the transfiguration, we hear about the brightness of Christ. He's brighter than any fuller soap. Well, we can begin to reflect that glory too. Uh, and it'll begin to show through us. I mean, we probably won't be whiter than full of soap uh, and we won't shine like Moses' face. Um, but if we begin to really work towards having the love of God in our lives and showing the love of God, we will begin to reflect the light of the world, Jesus Christ himself. So it's Sunday. Uh, if you didn't make it to worship last night, uh, we had a three services last night. Uh, we still have six more services today seven including morning prayer. So we have 7.30 morning prayer and eight o'clock Holy Communion. Uh, and then we have nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11.30, 12.30, uh, and then five o'clock evening prayer. Uh, so please go online if you haven't signed up for uh, attending a worship service. Uh, please sign up at stjohnsdetroit.org. Uh, and there's a clickable link to the Sign Up Genius. Uh, pick one of the services that you're able to come to where there is space available still. Uh, sign up and join us to receive the Blessed Sacrament, to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and to allow him to have that light to begin to shine through us by his grace. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you.